I did not get anything. Okay, well then whatever right. you want to do, but I'm just, do. What are you talking about? everyone and welcome back to our channel today's video is going to be not entirely finance related i have left the door open for a possible financial impact which i'll talk about towards the end of this video so one thing i did not have on my 2023 bingo card was some company coming to accidentally cut down our tree on our property. If you follow us on Instagram, you may have already saw the very small snippet that we put on our Instagram regarding this situation. This is going to be the more in-depth version and giving an update from that and just everything that happened from start to finish. Now to give a little bit of a backstory, my neighborhood, like a lot of neighborhoods probably, we have a Facebook group there of everyone in our subdivision. And someone someday decided to make a post talking about how they saw there was a lot of dead trees in our neighborhood. Something that I probably would have never thought about, but this person was complaining. Then of course other people, it's just when one person brings things up, a lot of people just start talking about it. Whereas this has been something that has never been brought up before. Like you guys know, we are in a subdivision that is still getting built out. Houses are still getting built. It's coming to an end here shortly, but right now houses are still getting built out. So there's a lot of houses that are still in warranty regarding stuff like that. And there's a lot that are not. I knew that a lot of people had called about this situation from this Facebook post. Didn't really know the outcome and I didn't really care because whether our tree looked dead or not, which it didn't, but it's just not something that me, myself, I would really think about. On Friday, so August the 11th, I had looked outside probably about one o'clock in the afternoon and I saw an orange ribbon like tied around my tree. However, we had just had a storm either the night before or sometime within the past 24 or 48 hours. So at first I was kind of confused, but then I was thinking, well, maybe because of the storm, it's been so windy, something blew in the wind and somehow something got tied around my tree. It wouldn't be the first time it gets windy out here. So I didn't really think much of it. And then a little while later, let's just say within 30 minutes or so, my son said something along the lines of, someone's taking our tree. So then I'm like, hold on. I got up, ran to the front and I literally see our tree is on the ground. And I'm just like, what in the world? With the neighborhood we live in, like I said, things are still getting built out sometimes. And I do know that the year we first move in, got a notification on one of our cameras that someone was on our property, like in our mulch, like digging stuff, like doing things like that, basically. Obviously, once you close on your house, it's your property. Nobody should be in your lawn. But with that situation, it turned out to be that the one who manages all the houses that are still getting built, we ended up speaking with them some much time later, let's just say later that evening. And they had said, yes, they were not supposed to be on your property. They were supposed to be doing some landscaping with a different house. And there was some type of mix up and they were at your house, basically doing your mulch, like some type of landscaping. Um, at first, obviously really freaked me out and I was a little concerned about it. And then ultimately I believe ended up telling them to go away, but, with that in the back of my mind and just knowing that with there's so many houses that they're still being built, something could probably happen. Um, and then also in the back of my head, I'm also thinking about this Facebook post and how people have been complaining and it could be possible that our tree they felt was dead and they ended up cutting it down. But to me, it's unacceptable. And it's like, you should have contacted the homeowner first to ask their permission. Hey, do you want this? Do you want that? Like I said, I do not feel like our tree was dead. I just did not feel like it should be a situation where someone was coming onto our property to cut our tree down. I think that's absolutely absurd. So no communication. Like I said, the only idea I had about this was an orange ribbon around our tree. And then once I heard my son say that, I was like, okay, absolutely not. This was not the wind. Someone's literally, messing with our tree. I go out there, I see our tree on the ground. I can't remember how much time had passed where I had saw them starting to take the tree away and I go outside and then this happens. 
Hi. Um, nobody told us about this. Are we getting another tree or when? Okay. I just look outside and I see my trees gone. Nobody told me anything. But I'm saying it's like my property that you guys just came and like took my tree and your company didn't tell us. Nobody. I had no idea. So I'm just confused. You guys cut it? Well, can your boss contact me and give me more information on what's going on? I have no idea. So ultimately, I had no idea what was going on. The person really couldn't tell me anything. I wasn't going to be like nasty, of course, and with these workers because I know that they're just doing their job and someone has obviously told them to come cut this tree down. So there's just no point of me going off on them, basically. So I tried to be as reasonable as I could and as rational as I could, just keeping in mind, hey, this is not their fault. And I asked them, their boss to contact me, but of course realizing later, you know, if you have just been in contact with the person who oversees all the houses that are still getting built out, you may not have my contact information. There's probably not a way of your boss contacting me. So I made a Facebook post in the Facebook group. I said, what's going on basically? Other people in the neighborhood then commented and said like they got something on their door. They were contacted basically. I'm like, okay, so apparently we're the only people who were not contacted, but then one other homeowner said they also had no communication. So I know at least one other home family also had no communication, but we got the name of this company because of a neighbor that said, hey, the door knocker or the what they put on your door, it had the name of the company. Google the name of the company has 2.8 stars, neither here nor there, but that's not good. Contacted them, I left them a voicemail. Wasn't a happy voicemail. I was very upset the next morning. Like, hey, how can you guys just come and cut someone's tree down? Like, how? That's not okay. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm just the type of person who's so one with nature, but that's a perfectly good standing tree that's nothing's wrong with it. And you're cutting a tree down for no reason. Like, it just doesn't make sense. The main thing that I was really just the most upset about is just someone coming on my property to cut my tree down, not even coming to talk to me first. So I was very frustrated about that. It's just like, you can't do that. Within probably 10 minutes, this company called me back and they were just apologizing. I will say throughout the whole encounter, they've been very apologetic, but there's just some things you really have to triple check and double check. Like that's the type of job that you cannot mess up on like it's just it cannot be done so she asked for my address to look up what was going on she said she didn't see my address in her system she's gonna look into this and like call me back within maybe 30 minutes to 45 minutes someone from the company was at my door and then this is the information that i got okay they accidentally cut your tree down okay and you will get a new one with a year warranty, same size and everything. But how did they accidentally cut my tree down? I don't know. Uh, you 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 weren't even on the list, okay? You did not have it on the list. What we were trying to do is make the neighborhood look better by cutting all the dead ones out of here and replace them, because we had a number a number of complaints because a lot of them died or they were half dead. How they would do that, I don't know because- But the I, thing is, is that they still stepped foot on my property to cut my tree down. So why wouldn't they come to my door to communicate with me first? Well, you should have got a door knocker. I did not get anything. Okay, well then, no, we're at fault. Whatever right. you want to do, but I'm just, do. What are you talking about? All I'm asking is why didn't someone come to my door and communicate before coming on my property to cut my tree down? Even if it was an accident, why wouldn't you communicate with the homeowner first if you plan to do that? Well, that's what I'm telling you. We didn't do it because you didn't have a dead tree. So it didn't come to your door. And I didn't leave you a door knocker. Did you get a door knocker? I just did said you, no. Did you get that? I just said no. What I'm saying is whoever cut the tree down before doing it, why didn't they tell the homeowner what they planned to do? Why didn't they tell the homeowner? Because they were already notified for the most part. What we did, I went door to door and I put a ribbon around each tree that needed to come down. 
We communicated it with the supervisor. For, you didn't get a door knocker, so you weren't supposed to have it cut down. I can't, you know, there's nothing that we can do about it now, except for give you a new one with a warranty. When am I getting a new one? We, we, and who's going to We have pay to probably have them dug, or we, we may just special it out here, if that's what you who's want Who's going to do. pay for my mulch that's going to get ruined? That we I have black mulch. For. We're like a big that? nursery. Yes, that's rubber mulch. So you don't know when I'm going to get a new one? I can tell you right now if you want me to. I'm going to tell you right now because I got the production manager on the on the phone, okay? I'll put him on the speaker so you can okay. hear. Okay. I've got you on the speaker, and I'm with the homeowner that they accidentally cut the tree down. She did not receive a door knocker and she was wondering why we didn't knock on her door. I told her that we didn't knock on her door because she didn't have nothing wrong with her tree. Uh, but they, they cut it down without knocking on her door. And I said, they accidentally cut it down. There was no orange ribbon on it. And they, for some reason they cut it down. Now I told her that we would put a new one in with a brand new one year warranty with it. Yes. And she wants to know when can we do it? to wait until we get the fall dig in for the best trees and the best chance of survivability would be this fall if that's possible I mean, if they want something that's happen, crazy <laughs> but it wouldn't be as good okay she says that's crazy uh, do we I, I bet you a couple good ones in the nursery we can take yeah, care I mean, of this if, if, i mean i don't think you guys are putting yourselves in my shoes i was here and my six-year-old kid says someone's taking our tree I have no idea what's going on, no communication, like we, like no idea. And then I have no tree. And then you're telling me I need to wait until the fall to get a new one. I'm not even like being like crazy or anything. Like I'm being so reasonable. Is he still talking? Can't even hear me if, I, if you're talking what I'm talking. We're, we're putting, we're, yeah, she don't want you talking when she's talking. Okay, you're not the only one that's feeling that way. We are too, because they weren't supposed to cut it down. So we're going to go out of bounds and do whatever you want to. If you want a tree now, we yeah. will get you one. Yeah. Would you like so one now? I want it as soon as possible because as soon as this possible. is crazy. It's sure. just crazy. She says it's crazy and it's probably next week, probably. Okay, very good. I'm sorry, I'll call you back. Okay, bye. We're going to do it next week okay okay and uh let me uh give you a plank here cover this will just say hey how to take care of it you know what i'm saying not that you don't know how we give that to everybody and you should have got one of those yesterday if we were gonna cut your tree down but we weren't supposed to cut your tree down yeah you see so it was an accident by the crew members and uh they asked that what they were doing they were probably cutting and they didn't pay attention to what they were doing but it was very simple. If I didn't have a ribbon around it, they weren't supposed to cut it down. But unfortunately, they cut yours down. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just okay. like... It's it's okay. It's it's not that... It's, it's just, just something crazy. I just think that, yeah, I mean, you're being very nice and everything, but it's just like the fact that he would even say fall just blows my mind because it's well, like no. if you're in that situation and you yeah. have a tree in your yard and then all of a sudden you don't and then someone tells you you need to wait a long time to get another one... Like I'm like, I just looked outside and it was gone and they were taking it. Yeah. Well, actually, you know what? It was right there on the curb when he, my son said someone's taking our tree. So I came out here and said, well, what's going on? As far as waiting, what they try to do, they try to do the fall dig and then it's easier to take care of it in the fall because we get the rain and the moisture, but we're going to do yours next week. You heard the production manager and I'll write it down for you if I need to. And All can right. I write it down that you get a new warranty? All right. Okay. I'll put new tree with new warranty one year. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. We are, we're sorry. <laughs> and and thank you for taking it the way you are. They'll stake it. Okay, you got to leave the stakes on there for about eight months. Okay. Was there other people too that this happened to or just my house? I'm sorry? Was the other people You, this you were the only one that had a tree accidentally cut down. Uh everyone else was informed we had we had probably 25 phone calls about these trees and they were all out of warranty we don't want to deal with it we'll just go put new trees in we we corresponded with and told the supervisor that we're going to go ahead and because he was being bothered with it to make the neighborhood look better we were going to eat the cost and go ahead and put them in and you know they're, they're very expensive
it's so we're really taking a hit on it uh, but it, it's business yours is a different situation yours is like we're in the wrong you couldn't even see it was alive because you can see how green it is and i put a ribbon on it to make yeah. it easier but apparently they just weren't now if you listen to what he said he mentioned himself that he's the one who put a ribbon on the trees that were supposed to be cut down. I didn't say this to his face because I didn't know if I would have proof of this, but like I said, I saw an orange ribbon on my tree. So while he was trying to blame the workers for this, it seems like he was actually the person who messed this whole thing up. Like he said, he had been working for this company for like four to six years. So it seems like it was actually him that did this. And after reviewing my camera footage after he left, I, it was very hard to see on the camera, but you can see it. I decided to call the company back and let them know, hey, I just want to let you know, he's saying it was the workers that did this, just moving quickly, basically from tree to tree that was supposed to get cut down. But it seemed like it was actually him just seeing that this footage here, it shows a ribbon on my tree. And I'm like, how can I send this video to you? I'm a type that definitely likes to document everything. She gave me her email address. I emailed it to her. My mindset where I'm at and I, this person who I spoke to at first, you know, like you heard, they're saying, do whatever you need to do. I obviously think that he was talking about legal action because just with making like a, my own Facebook post with my own like Facebook friends and other things that we researched this, I didn't know this, but this is something that you could definitely take legal action on. With my specific state in Ohio, I've looked it up and it basically states that the individual who's responsible would have to pay three times the amount of the cost to, to replace. I, you know, everyone will have to comment down below and let me know what you think. My mindset obviously is that I see it was a mistake. They didn't do this on purpose. They've already talked about how this trying to replace all these trees is, you know, it's money out of their pocket. So I definitely believe in doing the right thing and they're willing to replace this tree. With a quick turnaround time, although I don't know what the tree's quality will be like with them, it sounds like the best trees that they're referring to usually come in the fall and that's really just honestly to me not acceptable. So it sounds like they're gonna have to take this tree from someplace else. Is this tree gonna have the same quality? I don't know. And I feel like it's just as a whole, the whole thing was just unnecessary. It was just wrong on so many levels, but I'm also feeling like I want to just uh, take the tree that they're willing to give because I know it was an accident. I can tell this was not something that was intentional things of that nature, but then it makes me think, well, why does anyone go the route of like legal action in the first place if most likely the person who's responsible probably is willing to take care of it? Obviously, as you can see in the picture, this is not a big tree. It was planted just about three years ago, so it's still really small. It's not like a humongous tree. I would actually be very upset if it was, I would be like 10 times more upset if this was a humongous big tree that I had had for let's say 10, 20 years. I would be a lot more upset, but either way, I know how this tree started. It did start smaller. A lot of people were saying on the video that I posted on Instagram, this is because of your HOA. This is because of the city. They like your HOA did this. 100% was not our HOA, the type of HOA that we have. You only pay less than $200 a year and they barely participate in anything except telling you what you can and can't do with certain situations like our fence, pools. But what I mean by they don't do much is that they're not coming around to try to make people's property look better. And I'm also understanding that if an HOA is involved with an issue they have on your property, what they do is tell you to take care of that issue. They wouldn't just come out to your property and just start cutting stuff down which a lot of people seem to think that that was the case. It's not the case. This actually has nothing to do with our HOA, it has nothing to do with the city. They are not involved at all. It's simply just the company that is contracted to do landscaping work or just the trees, because I know there's another company that's also involved with actual landscaping here in our subdivision. So it's really just, like they said, a situation where they're trying to make sure that the trees look good in the neighborhood due to multiple complaints and 
somehow my house is the only one that accidentally got cut down. I just, I think that's actually really crazy because you could have accidentally cut down so many trees and it just happened to be my house is the only one that was accidentally cut down. I do know also there's other trees in this neighborhood where the, like their tree is completely and entirely dead and they did not cut their tree down. So I just don't really get it. The address, like the list of addresses that he had on this paper that he showed me, there was probably no more than 10 houses on there. Whereas the amount of houses that are like built and established already in this neighborhood, it has to be like at least 150, something like that, maybe 100 to 150. So what I'm saying is there are some trees they missed and they would know that if they really took their time. I don't I don't really get it. I'm just trying to understand how they decided to cut this tree down but not the other ones as far as the ones that were supposed to be cut down. How did you decide to cut this one down and not that one? Like there's some that have zero leaves on them. There's some that have like half the amount of leaves on them. So definitely more dead than ours could have looked. Those ones were not taken care of. So I don't really get it. If you're someone who deals with tree stuff, definitely comment down below. Let me know because I don't really understand how they chose some but not the others. But let me know what you guys think as far as is this something that we should escalate? And honestly, I don't even know the first step. Like someone told me to get an Arbor lawyer. I Google Arbor lawyer, nothing comes up. So I'm really just confused what type of lawyer would even handle things like this. Should we even go that route? Should we even bother with it? Like how is it how does it work basically? So at the end of the day, they let us know that this coming week, so the week of the 14th of August, they are planning to they're gonna have to like literally dig up the ground and like put another tree and plant another tree. That's just a mess. As of right now, it looks pretty naked. There's just a stump there, little tree stump that used to be our tree. If this has ever happened to any of you guys, comment down below, let me know your situation. If you know someone that this has happened to or even something similar, let me know because this is just, like I said, nothing I could have predicted, nothing that I've ever heard of, period. But this is home ownership. Like it's just, you have to end up dealing with stuff like this. It's not just, oh, the leasing office, you know, like, you know, with renting an apartment, like they'll handle the whole thing. I have to take time out of my day to take care of it, talk to this person outside. One thing I do worry about is just if we did move forward with doing anything legal, the time that we would have to put in, like dealing with phone calls, all of the things like, you know, if it's really something that needs to happen, we just might have to. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new and you are interested in our normal content, which is regarding us trying to pay off our house by 2025, Please subscribe. We will see you in our next video.